गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक केमिस्ट्री ऑफ लिपिड्स कॉम्पिटिशन नंबर 4.1 एंड टुडेज पार्ट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज फंक्शंस एंड बायोलॉजिकल इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स एज ऑल ऑफ अस नो दैट ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स और ट्राइएकाइल ग्लिसरॉल आर न्यूट्रल फैट्स दे आर इस्टर्स ऑफ ट्राइहाइड्रिक अल्कोहल ग्लिसरॉल विद फैटी एसिड सो दिस इज द डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ट्राइकल ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल वेयर सेंट्रल ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल इज देयर एज एल्कोहल टू विच द थ्री फैटी एसिड्स आर अटैच नाउ द थ्री कार्बन्स ऑफ दिस ग्लिसरॉल आर नंबर्ड एज वन टू थ्री और दे आर ऑल्सो नेम्ड एज अल्फा बीटा एंड अल्फा डैश फ्रॉम अबाउ डाउनवर्ड्स मोनोग्लिसराइड्स और मोनोअकाइल ग्लिसरॉल मीन्स वेन वन फैटी एसिड इज अटैच टू अ ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल सिमिलरली डाइग्लिसराइड मीन्स वेन टू फैटी एसिड्स आर अटैच टू ए ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल एंड ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स आर फॉर्म वेन थ्री फैटी एसिड्स आर अटैच टू द ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल सिंपल एंड मिक्स ट्राइग्लिसरॉल और ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स मीन्स वेन ऑल द थ्री फैटी एसिड्स अटैच टू द ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल आर सेम देन दे आर कॉल्ड एज सिंपल ट्राइकाइल ग्लिसरॉल और सिंपल ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स वेन द फैटी एसिड्स अटैच टू द ग्लिसरॉल मॉलिक्यूल आर डिफरेंट देन दे आर कॉल्ड एज मिक्स ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स जनरली इट इज फाउंड दैट इन मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ट्राई ग्लिसराइड्स एट सेकेंड कार्बन एटम और एट बीटा कार्बन एटम पोलियन सेचुरेटेड फैटी एसिड इज अटैच कमिंग टू द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ट्राइकाइल ग्लिसरॉल और ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स they are hydrophobic and insoluble in water you can call these triglycerides as oils or fats when the triglycerides are liquid at 20 degree centigrade then we call them as oils generally they contain unsaturated short chain fatty acids and they are plant origin when these triglycerides are present in solid form at room temperature then we call them as fats generally they contain saturated long chain fatty acids and they are animal in origin it is the major fat which is stored in our body in the adipose tissue in a normal 70 kg man about 11 kg of triglycerides are stored in his body which supplies about 1 lakh kilo calories during fasting and starvation state so this fat is stored in small volume as compared to the other storage form of energy like glycogen so here example is given if you want to store a glycogen of 1 lakh kilo calories then the weight of that glycogen molecule may be around 65 kg that means triglycerides are stored in small volume and they form only 11 kg for 1 lakh kilo calories this is because triglycerides are hydrophobic in nature they repel water and they get accumulate in small space next hydrolysis of triglycerides the triglycerides in the body are hydrolyzed by the enzyme hydrolase class of enzyme and the na name of enzyme is lipase this lipase enzyme breaks the triglycerides sequentially by removing one after one fatty acid to form diglyceride or diacyl glycerol monoacyl glycerol and free glycerol next we will see important topic is called as rancidity of fat fats and oil have tendency to become rancid now what is the meaning of rancid rancidity is the term which refers to the unpleasant smell and unpleasant taste for the fats and oils on storing mainly the rancidity of two types hydrolytic rancidity and oxidative rancidity but sometimes due to repeated heating of oil or fat the they undergoes rancidity which is called as rancidity due to heating 
first we will see what is by hydrolytic rancidity in this type of rancidity there is partial hydrolysis of the triglyceride molecules due to presence of stress amount of hydrolytic enzymes leading to unpleasant taste and smell to the oils and fats oxidative rancidity is another type of rancidity here there is unpleasant taste and smell to the oils and fats due to partial oxidation of unsaturated fatty acids present in the triglyceride molecules and this is brought about by the enzyme epoxides and peroxides and free radical free radicals converting the polyunsaturated fatty acids into peroxides this type of rancidity is seen in our body where polyunsaturated fatty acids are present and they are generally found in biomembranes because of this oxidative rancidity the biomembranes get damage leading to cell death now antioxidants are the substances example vitamin e which prevent the occurrence of oxidative rancidity in the body similarly if we add these antioxidants to the fats or oils they increases the shelf life of that fat or oil these antioxidants removes the free radicals which are responsible for oxidative rancidity now sometimes due to repeated heating of oil also leads to polymerization of the hydrocarbon chain which also gives rancidity to the oil and fat next is oxidative rancidity versus peroxidation oxidative rancidity means oxidation of polyunsaturated fatty acids present in the oils and fats due to free radicals and peroxides giving them unpleasant taste and smell when the same oxidation of the polyunsaturated fatty acid occurs in the body it is called as peroxidation in our body these polyunsaturated fatty acids are generally found mainly in the cell membrane therefore this peroxidation will damage the cell membrane and the end product of peroxidation is called as malon dialdehyde so the measurement of malon aldehyde gives us quantitative estimation of rate of peroxidation occurring in the body now coming to the physiological role of triacylglycerol just now we have studied they can store in small volume and supply large amount of energy therefore body store triglycerides as a stored fuel in adipose tissue and they will broken down during fasting and starvation to provide energy then triglycerides are also found below the skin this subcutaneous fat protect us from external temperature of of climate it does not allow the external temperature to enter in our body or internal body heat to came out next physiological function of triacylglycerol is it has padding effect that means this triglycerides forms a covering over the internal organs especially in the abdomen like liver spleen kidney by covering these organs they act as a shock absorber when there is any external external force which creates vibrations then these vibrations are taken up by this triglyceride covering and does not allow these vibrations to reach to the internal organs so in this way they 
have protect the internal organs then triglycerides contains essential fatty acid so they supply essential fatty acid to the body similarly the fat soluble vitamins like vitamin a d e and k they are also found to be accompanied with triglycerides in the diet then triglycerides covers the axons of the nerves and act as a insulator over it so that when the nerve crosses each other at that point the action potential of from one axon does not passes to the other axon and thus they help in carry out the function of axons clinical coming to the clinical importance of triglycerides first is obesity obesity means excessive deposition of triglycerides in the body leading to increase in the weight called as obesity and then this obesity is responsible for various diseases next clinical importance is diabetes mellitus it is found that the persons with accumulation of large amount of triglyceride in the body have developed diabetes mellitus or chances of development of diabetes mellitus in obese persons are more so this is about the biological role and importance of triglycerides thank you very much